Rabbit dude, rabbit dude, rabbit dude, rabbit dude, rabbit dude, rabbit dude. Rabbit McCully, Michael dude. This short bus autistic prick just goes around to everyone's channel sniffing out, sniffing and, and wishing that he just gets that one moderator wrench so then he can abuse his power. Because we know in real life he never had a job. He's in his mid-30s. Uh, he's in his mid-30s supposedly a, a graphics designer degree and he's never had a job he's he's been making his portfolio in job searching for the last three years still nothing's come out of it so he goes around to different live streams and just wishes whoever's running that live stream he gets that one moderator wrench then he can abuse his power and ban anyone he wants his trigger finger is really happy and he just bans them right away Remember Rabbit Dude when uh, you lost your moderator wrench to D Reed's channel, the Keep It Real stream, and then you, <laughs> and then you message in his live stream, you're like, "Hey D Reed, uh, you can you can give me back the moderator wrench if you want, but if you don't want to, that's cool." And then D Reed's like, "Rabbit Dude, you know you want the moderator wrench. Here you go." Because that's all he does. It's just it's hilarious why this guy starts creaming his pants when he gets a moderator wrench. That's why when Buckeye Bunny got exposed to uh, rabid dude's antics online and how much of a prick and sly loser he is. <clears throat> Buckeye Bunny took away rabid dude's moderator wrench and then rabid dude instantly went into the fetal position on his mattress, his new mattress that he got, and he started crying. That's all he does. So yesterday, you <laughs> know the funny thing? Yesterday I make a video saying, you know what I'd like to see? The short... The short bus podcast of uh, Rabbit Dude Carl and James Campbell, and then and then and then yesterday night, lo and behold, Ra uh, Carl and Rabbit Dude on a short bus podcast together talking, and I was listening to that, and I, I and I and I swear to you, I was literally losing brain cells as the stream was going on. It, it was just so stupid. These guys are so dumb. They do a lot of talking, but they don't do a lot of doing, right? Carl, you do a lot of talking, like, you know, you need to do this, 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 portfolio, this, but you don't do a lot of doing, right? Rabbit dude, same with you. You do a lot of talking, but you don't do a lot of doing. You can talk the talk, but can you walk the walk? No, you apparently can't walk the walk, all right? You cannot walk the walk. What you can do is ride the short bus. You can short bus the short bus. We all know that. So they're talking yesterday, and by the end of the stream, hilarious thing, at the end of the stream, Carl's like, Carl's like, hey, Rabbit Dude, message me on, in chat. I'm going to moderate. I'm going to give you a moderator wrench by the end of the stream. <laughs> that was Rabbit Dude's goal the whole time, was to just to get on the stream, short bus it up, and then by the end of the stream, he's going to get that moderator wrench. Okay, so Rabbit Dude, what do you got so far? You got, you got Ricardo Cody's stream, rear wrenched, right? Okay, that's good. That's good. Awesome. You got Carl stream. You're wrenched, right? That's awesome. I'm pretty sure if D Reed, uh, the fake wangster that hides his receding hairline with a fitted cap 24 seven. All right. I'm pretty sure if that guy starts streaming again to keep it real, I'm sure you got a moderator wrench in that channel. Yeah, we know that. Uh, I don't know about Dean TV's channel, the Dan. Hey, Dean TV, I got a message for you. You're acting like everyone thinks about you when we wake up and, and, and we try to do a get ya. You're an afterthought, DTV. You're a failed YouTuber, failed wrestler, some loser who married the most ugly, not married, procreated the most ugliest woman known to mankind. And you're sitting there thinking that we just think about you all the time and try to screw you over. No, we don't. You're literally an afterthought. We go, we go on our day and we see you. And we're like, oh, let's troll Dean. Oh, did it work? Great. It didn't work? Oh, no. Oh, it's okay. Let's troll him another time. That's all it is. And then we move on with our day. That's all it is. You want to make it look like, oh, Dean's a target and Dean's fighting this special battle online and he's just so strong. He's prevailing. We don't care. The funny thing is you've been more affected than any one of us. You're one of the most affected by any other, and we don't even try. If Uyamika's doing whatever Uyamika's doing, he doesn't even care. He's just doing it as an afterthought for fun, and he's fine, and you're getting owned. Doesn't that click in? You look more foolish and foolish every day, Dean. 
trying to make it look like the world revolves around you and then you're fighting some special battle and then everyone's against you and you're fighting this and you're the you're the so-called greek god fighting this battle and you're in a corner and like we literally do not care we troll the hell out of you you get humiliated and then we move on with our day end of story and chief debo you write a community post saying here let me let me explain to you chief debo you're like you're like how did you get punked if queef didn't message you back and then you're saying i'm the loser uh, obsessing over somebody because he left for two months or whatever. Don't you see that's the whole point? Keith Elwood is hoping you just did your one-time rant for five minutes and then you're never going to talk about it again. And it's working, right? Now you're diverting your attention back to me and the snakes. No, if you really want to affect Queef, you need to do another video. Okay, and then you need to do another video and then you need to do another one. One time only, it doesn't work. That's what Keith Elwood is actually hoping, Chief Debo, you do. Just do your one-time rant and then that's it. Give you the false sense of victory. Nah, 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 don't fall into that trick. Well, it's up to you, right, Chief Debo? What do you want to do, whether you want to do it or not? But I'm just saying, Keith Elwood is hoping you just moved on, and which apparently you did because you did a community post on me when your community post should have been on Queef. I'm not the one that used you. I'm not the one that tricked you and manipulated you into fighting my fight, and then when you wanted to come for any kind of acknowledgement, I tossed you to try. That's what Keith Elwood did to you. He's the one that tricked you into fighting your fights. He's the one that told you to dox for him. He's the one that told you to do false copyright strikes and, and flag channels for him. And then when you went back to Keith to look for acknowledgement, he told you he tossed you to trash. So instead of diverting your attention to me now and saying, ha, oh, Slotham, you're wrong. No, no, take Just take what I said. If you want it to go in one ear out the other, that's fine. If you want to acknowledge it, that's fine. But go continue back into roasting Keith. Don't you get it? He wants that. He wants you now to go back to us and you're doing it. You're falling into his trap again. Whether he inadvertently or wanted that happen, it's just happening that way. Just letting you know. Why do you think I only did, why do you think I uh, didn't just do one video? I, res I did many, many videos to bury the hell out of Queef and it worked, right? And, it, and I'm still doing it. And guess what? I don't care. It doesn't affect my life. I just come on YouTube uh, roast people and then I go off YouTube and then I read some funny comments and I had that community post yesterday most people did get it right I actually need to see the answers as I'm recording this yeah so Chief Debo you're literally doing what Keith Elwood wants forgetting about Keith and going back to me and you're doing it so you know what it's it's all all the power to you do whatever you want but I'm just saying from my angle, if I was in your position, if, Chief Debo, if I was in your position where I was doxing for someone else, I was flagging for someone else, I was part of an army which I knew were a bunch of incels and I was still there to help give everyone credibility like you said, and then I went back to Keith and he tells me to he tossed me to, to, to the side like trash, I would literally be making a roast video all the time. I was, not every, you don't have to do it every day, every two days, every three days, that's what I would be doing, FYI. So back to rabbit dude, rabbit dude, you sly, clever piece of trash. These two people like Carl and, um, rabbit dude, they use their short bus, they use their short bus personality as a shield. They use it as a shield to be able to participate in the drama whenever they want and not get the pushback of the drama when they want. Why? Cause they're on the short bus. They're in special ed. They're just trying to make it through the society. They have something wrong. Like, that's all it is. They are more, they are more interested in like hearing the drama because it's free entertainment. They want to hear it right away. And Rabbit Dude, how does it feel that your ugly, short bus, autistic face with your stupid comb over haircut is on this thumbnail? How does that feel? I know it doesn't feel good. And the only reason you're in the thumbnail like this is because you have to you have to put this false narrative out. You have to put this narrative out like, oh, you don't like drama. You're just here watching the drama. I'm not I'm not participating in it. I'm observing it. Shut up. All right. You make me sick. If you didn't say that, if you just straight up said, if, if let's say if D Reed asked you one day. Oh, do you like the drama, Robbie? Dude, you should. If you would have said something like, "Yeah, I think it's entertaining and whatever, whatever," like it's fun to see and it's funny, I would have no problem with you. But because 
you're a short bus prick who's doing these weird things, trying to friggin' make it look like you don't like the drama so that you have the shield that no one attacks you. Shut the hell up. That's why you're in the thumbnails now. That's why you're in the rotation, because you're pissing me off. You're not genuine. I don't like liars like that. I don't like people that aren't genuine. Just come out and straight up say, yes, I like the drama. Yes, this is, this is, this is, boom, boom. That's it. You have no problem with me. That's why pieces of trash like Keith Elwood, I don't like, because he's not genuine. He's a fake. He sits up there on his premium futon in his dirty, dingy apartment, jobless, no money, no car, no life, no girlfriend, and he acts like he's some hotshot. He's not. He's a queef. He's a big queef. That's what he is. And he has this one cat that he has, Brooke, that he gets his affection from. His one responsibility in life, oh no, one cat, that's all he has, and he thinks he's some big guy here, working at some dead-end assembly job, Keith Elwood, Franklin on fire. Uh, he's no longer with the company, can I help you with something? That piece of trash. And he makes me sick. He makes me sick. The thing that makes me sick the most out of Keith Elwood is that he ran away like a coward for two months. He, start, he, he lost his enthusiasm whenever I came in and started ranting. He did it for what, one, two, three weeks, whatever, whatever. Then he realized, wait a minute, this Slotham character, he ain't gonna stop. He doesn't give a damn. He's got a bigger set of balls than Keith Elwood does. Oh no. And then what happened was Alt Account 1 came in, said 2772. Then all you guys in the incel army saw your leader and lover boy Darius Truxton leave for two months. And then all the rest of you got the heat, right? Then all the rest of you got roasted. What did you guys do? Did you guys tell Keith, come back and help us? You guys are even too scared to even approach him and tell him, hey, we need help here on this YouTube drama ridiculousness. Why are you running? And Keith didn't even care. He didn't even answer to you guys. He just hid for two months. That's how, like, it's just ridiculous how you guys let someone like that get away with that. But me fighting back the army? Oh, how dare Slotham do that? How dare Slotham talk about one guy? Oh, Mo, Slotham is obsessed with one guy. So me doing that, oh, that's ridiculous. That's a bottom of the barrel. But Keith Elwood leaving you all to, out to dry and running away for two months, that's okay, right? He's not going to get any pushback of that, right? Ridiculous. All right, rabbit dude, so keep being on the short bus. I'm gonna tag Buckeye Bunny, whether it's in the in, in the description or whatever, and she's gonna know everything about you and how much of a sly prick that you are doing all these fancy YouTube drama games, pretending you don't like the drama, but you really do like the drama. You're on a little short bus podcast with friggin' Carl yesterday. Uh, all, all, all that's missing right now is James James Campbell come back, participate in that goddamn short bus podcast, and let and tell and show Carl and Rabbit Dude how to run a short bus podcast. Because I have faith in you, James Campbell, you four hundred pound fat Estella wife marrying piece of trash that wants to get a sauna and has a fourteen karat gold chain, comes on YouTube, calls himself a Mac Daddy, and there's nothing you can do about it except cry on the internet.